have already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So, Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and the person you're dealing with. We got this Ten of Wands and it's with the Ace of Cups. Now, with this Ten of Wands, you could have started to feel like you were carrying some type of heavy burden. Now, when you get the Ten of Wands, you may want to look hard at this and see if there are any ways that you can lighten your load, either literally or figuratively. Because if you, if you looked carefully, you probably would have found out that part of the burden that you were carrying emotionally, it actually belonged to someone else. So, it would have been really important for you to pace yourself. And try not to take on too much. Now it's with the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is a very powerful pos positive card. When it comes to love, happiness, and affection, like all the Aces, it is about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. So things are looking up. People will respond to you with happiness, love, goodwill more than usually. You should be feeling good about life overall. It's a great time to make friends. Friends when you get the Ace of Cups. So, Aquarius, this recent past energy between you and your person, Ten of Wands, clarified by this Ace of Cups. So, what I'm picking up on is that for some of you, you wanted a new beginning or a fresh new start with your person. And you got it. But, um, it looks like the connection um, became difficult for some reason. Um, you could have felt like you were giving too much of your emotional energy to this person. Uh, you could have felt like you were, this person sucked the life out of you. Um, something was very, started to become very difficult. Because if you look at the Ten of Wands, the card that's above the word pass, this man, he's walking forward, but he's actually about to fall backwards. Yeah. So, yeah, you did want a new beginning or a fresh new start. I'm picking up the both of you did. There was a lot of warmth and deep attraction. But something happened. It just became very difficult. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Now we got the Four of Pentacles. And it's with the Hermit. Now, this Four of Pentacles can be a card about holding on to things. Maybe people. Maybe money. Or even situations longer than is healthy, longer than is realistic. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a sign that you need to look carefully at what you're clinging to and whether others are clinging to you in an unhealthy way. This card, it can point to anxiety. It can point to fear. It could be about money or clinging to whatever it is that makes you feel secure. But the key is to try to realize that being anxious and grasping, it does not bring security. Now, it's with the Hermit, which is a very spiritual card. It could have something to do with institutions, large organizations, everything from a bank to an entire Christian church. It's kind of like the Strength card in the Tarot. You could be in the frame of mind where you want or need some time alone. Don't be afraid to take it, even if it's just a five-minute walk around the house so that you can clear your head. This is also a card about trying really hard to do the right thing. But you want to make sure that doing the right thing includes doing what's right for you personally and not just worrying about the wants and needs of others. So coming up, Aquarius, 
Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Hermit. So, like I said, the, like I said, this recent past energy is showing that the connection, it became really difficult. It felt like it was at a hard place. Um, it could, this difficulty, it could have something to do with money for some of you. Because I'm looking at the Four of Pentacles, the card above the word present. This man, he's on all fours. He's got his hands on his money. And he's got his feet on his money. And he's holding on for dear life. Yeah. His eyes look like they're about to pop out of his head. And his brain looks like it's about to explode. And if a huge brick fell out of the sky and knocked him upside his head, he'd still be holding on in that same position really tight. So, there's some unhealthy clinging here coming up. Yeah. Yeah, and it's taking a toll on you. And it looks like you just want some time alone. Just to clear your clear your mind. That's what the hermit does. Clear your mind and get rid of some baggage. Yeah, just to um, get your thinking back straight. Just to get your thinking back together. Um, this clinging could be your person. Maybe they're they're holding on to money too tightly. Or maybe they're they're breadcrumbing you. They're being stingy. Or they or there could be some just some unhealthy clinging. Maybe someone is being clingy needy, and the other person just wants some time alone because it's just it's in an unhealthy way. Whatever this clinging is. It's very unhealthy. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we have the Queen of Pentacles and it's with the Sun. Now, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, with this card, it can indicate that you could be spending time, money, and energy on your home getting it to be more comfortable. And this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt, because people could be looking to you for insight or advice. You'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you get a lot of things accomplished. Now, it's with a sun card. Now, with a sun card, things are likely to be going well. However, even though your finances are in good shape when you get the sun card, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's truly important. And money is not very high on the list for some of you, and for others of you it is. You have to keep in mind it's also a good time to socialize, get out and about, meet new people. And if you're looking for a job and you get the sun card, this is an indicator that it's actually right around the corner. So, your challenge, Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the sun. So, yeah. It looks like coming up, um, you could feel like you just want, um, you want to feel happy again. Yeah, because you, you're still carrying some type of burden. And there's still some type of unhealthy holding on to or being... Uh, reason, somebody's being resistant in this connection, resistant to something, um, maybe resistant to change. Yeah, so you're feeling cut the challenges that you just want to be happy again. And you might just start to take joy and comfort in the ordinary things, like the Queen of Pentacles does. You see, it's the card above the word challenge. This lady, she's sitting in her backyard. She's in her lounge chair. She's um, got her dog. Her dog is at her feet. He's keeping her toes warm. 
She's feeding the birds and the squirrels that come by. She's taking comfort and joy in knowing that she's got some money in the bank. Yeah, it may not be a lot, but she's got she's got something because she's smiling at this huge pinnacle that she's cuddling. So she's just taking satisfaction in knowing that. Yeah, there are some things that she can take to that puts a smile on her face without any type of, um, without feeling burdened or worried like she's been doing, um, with her person. So yeah, Aquarius, coming up, you just want to feel the sunshine again. Yeah. Right now you're not feeling it because you and your person, you're going through some some type of difficulties. So you could be thinking a lot about just wanting time alone because you got this hermit card here. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Six of Swords and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now the Six of, Six of Swords, it's uh, showing in the picture some type of movement, maybe a change in where you are inwardly. Usually the change is for the better. Whether it's internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. Six of Swords, it shows that there's at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. It's about taking, taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short break. Or a change of scenery is going to be helpful. And just know that this does not have to cost money. Now, it's with the Ten of Cups, which is another one of the most uplifting cards you can receive in the reading. Everyone wants the Ten of Cups in a reading. This card, it points to happiness. Perhaps in a more mature, grown-up kind of way. Either way, it's a really good card to get in a reading. It speaks of happy family life, even if you're single, to the overall well-being that goes way beyond you to include those that you're most concerned about. Parents, your siblings, your children, your pets, and much more. Now, when you get the Ten of Cups, you could also... Um, be spiritually fulfilled. It's a part of the picture here, too. Great card to see, regardless of any question. So your outcome, Aquarius, Six of Swords, clarified by this Ten of Cups. So yeah, like I said, with the Six of Swords, there is a slight reduction in stress and strain. So whatever issues you and your person were having, or that come up, um, somehow you two manage to move into calmer waters. Yeah. Um, the two, you or your person, or maybe the both of you, you don't want any more fights. You don't want any more disagreements. You don't want any more arguments. Because if you look at the Six of Swords, it's a card above the word outcome. These two people, they just got out of raging waters. Now they're, but now the waters are still and they're moving into calmer waters. So they're at peace. They may not be at a romantic place because if they were, they'd be facing each other. She's got her back to him and he's just focusing on trying to get from point A to point B. And she's looking at, and she's looking at a computer trying to figure out the work week, or the work that she has planned for the up and coming days. Yeah, so there's resolution, there's peace, there's recovery. You two are moving into calmer waters. It's saying that the outcome can be great. It has the potential. To start to feel like a dream come true again. It has the potential to. Yeah, because the Ten of Cups is absolutely beautiful. Ten of Cups can, um, 
it's like a dream come true. So things could take a turn for the better. Yeah. Now for some of you, I don't see anyone walking away here. But for some of you, you could be thinking about your Ten of Cups. Or going towards your Ten of Cups. But for a lot of you, this connection turns around for the better. It starts to feel like a dream come true again. So that is the reading that I have for you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. And with all the crazy that's going on in the news, stay safe, stay strong, take care. Please come back and join me for the next Aquarius reading. Yeah, just keep in mind when you get the readings, the roles of the people can be switched. Meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend or a family member, a co-worker, or maybe even a situation. So keep in mind, take the reading for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Aquarius, I can never say it enough. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.